Warriors. Warrior! Fight your way through history. You are a Viking. The most terrifying warrior the world has ever known. It's time for you to invade Britain. Select weapon. Head chopping axe. Skull crushing hammer. Gun slashing sword. Selection complete. Choose the mightiest British warrior to fight. Or just go to Britain and butcher some defenseless monks. British monk selected. Recreate the battles of the brave Viking warriors. Select weapon. Bible. Selection complete. Warrior! How many unarmed British monks can you slaughter? How much treasure can you steal? How many British monasteries can you destroy? Select new British monastery. But it's not all just kill, kill, kill. You take monks as slaves too. Viking wins again. Warrior! No mercy. No morals. No contest. Being a Viking wasn't all fight, fight, fight. We like to look good too. And what you're about to see are all genuine Viking beauty treatments. Struggle hairdressers. Hair there and everywhere. <laughs> oh, what is it with you Vikings that you're always coming in on a Saturday? It's tradition. You know Vikings like to do their grooming on Saturdays. Look, can't I just have a hair wash? Does it look like I can? I mean, some of these Vikings made their appointments weeks ago. OK, OK, OK. Eyebrow tidy? No. Shelley's run off a fake moustache trimming as it is. Oh, look, please. I've got a long ship raid for a fortnight from Wednesday. I just want to look my best. Look, you know us Vikings take our grooming very seriously. <sighs> All right. I've got a cancellation Tuesday morning. I can fit you in for a hair wash dye and a plait then. <sighs> I don't know. It's cutting it a bit fine, Suzanne, you know? Well, I'll see if Shelley can book you an earwax removal at the same time. Mm. She's got a new Viking ear spoon. Really? Shelley, show me your new ear spoon. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, cheers, Suzanne. I'll see you then. <sighs> Eric, that's you done. Now, who's next for a hair wash? I am. Oh, I hate Saturdays. Vikings were incredibly clean. They really did like to wash and groom themselves every Saturday. They had earwax spoons and everything. <laughs> I just stirred my tea with that. Vikings had some pretty weird beliefs. Here are our top three. At number three... Vikings believed that the first man and woman came from the sweat of a giant's armpit. Oh, that was disgusting. Fury, giant, stinky. Mmm, piney freshness, that better. <laughs> I am famed throughout the Viking world for my viciousness. My name is Eric Bloodaxe, and who might you be? I am Asgot the Clumsy. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, how about we call it a draw? <laughs> Vikings were known in history by their first names and their nicknames. There really was one called Asgot the Clumsy, and even one called Con Smelly Feet. <laughs> no prizes for guessing how he got his name. <laughs> Viking belief number two. Vikings believed that the sky was held up by four dwarves called North, South, East and West. The sky held up by dwarves? Ow! No wonder giant keep hitting head. Oh. We Vikings did believe some funny things. We thought that if we died in battle, then we'd get to go to Viking heaven. But if we died any other way, we'd go to Viking hell. <coughs> Name? Uh, Thorvald, fierce. Died in battle? What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah. In you go. Yeah. Welcome to Valhalla Viking heaven. Hi. Name? Asgot. The Brave. Mm, you don't seem to be on my list. Well, I should be. 
Well, Valhalla's only for Vikings who died in battle. Did you die in battle? Yes. Hmm. Well, you're not on my list. I can't just let anyone in. Valhalla's a very popular place. You get to drink all night from the skulls of your enemies. Jeez! And you get to fight all day. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Great. What would happen out of interest if, say, you didn't die in battle? Um, say you died in bed, where would you go? Well, then I'd have to send you down to Viking Hell. That's a freezing thatched hall, whose roof timbers are made from the spines of serpents which drip poison onto those below. And you have nothing to drink but goat's urine. Well, it's a good job I died in battle then, because I did die in battle. All right, in you go, has got the brave. Oh, has got the brave? No, 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 that's has got the clumsy. Hey? Yeah, the clumsiest Viking that ever lived. He was, he was having breakfast in bed, accidentally stabbed himself with his own dagger. He's an idiot. <laughs> So you didn't die in battle then? No. You did in fact die in bed. Yes. I suppose it's a pint of goat's urine for me then, isn't it? Move along, please. Viking belief number one. The Vikings believed that their god, Thor, once dressed up as a woman to fool a giant who had stolen his hammer. Thor went to get it back. Oh, hello. You very pretty girl. Oh! Pretty girl hurt giant's head. Oh! Sky too low. Oh! Stinky. No fun being Viking giant. <laughs> we Vikings were always invading Saxon Britain and killing people. In 1016, we even killed the Saxon King of England. Edmund the Second, and you're going to love how he did it. <laughs> stupid death, stupid death, they're funny cause they're true. Stupid death, stupid death, hope next time it's not you. <laughs> um, when you get... Oh no, make way, woman! Ah, oh, I'm sorry, can you check me in first, please? Uh, you'll have to wait your turn. Take a seat. Now that's just it, I can't! My bottom hurts! Ah, oh, okay, okay, right. Name? Edmund the Second. Year of death? 1016 AD. Profession? King! King of England! Mm. Method of death? Well, I died on the toilet. Ooh, excellent. I love a good toilet death story. Go on. Well, I say toilets are. Our Saxon toilets aren't very sophisticated, a little more than a pit in the ground. Nice. Yeah, and unfortunately, as I squatted over the toilet. The pit? Yeah. Well, it turns out there was a Viking hiding in it, and he stabbed me twice from beneath with a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> right up the bum! <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> Stop press! Edmund Second died from dagger up the bottom! <laughs> oh, that is hilarious! You're dead funny! <laughs> oh, did you hear? <laughs> Next! Stupid death, stupid death, hope next time it's not you! A lot of English words come straight from the Viking language. Like this lot. Bang! Crash! Flea smash! Nasty ruthless! Welcome! What, really? Welcome? You don't think we're giving out mixed messages? <laughs> and here's another surprising Viking fact. A well-known nursery rhyme is actually about a Viking attack. Is it A, ring a ring of roses, B, London Bridge is falling down, or C, the owl and the pussycat? The answer is B, London Bridge is falling down. It's about a Viking attack on London. And here's one more thing you probably didn't know about the Vikings. Contrary to popular opinion, Viking warriors didn't actually have cow horns on their helmets. 
That's right. In fact, they had moose antlers. No, we didn't. No, no, silly me. They had bunny ears. Don't be ridiculous. Big pink bows, then? Of course not. Cow udders? <clears throat> By Odin's thunder. Well, what did you have, then? Nothing. We had nothing on our helmets. Well, isn't that a bit boring? We're fighting battles, not having a fashion parade. What would be the use of having great big cow udders on your head in a war with the Saxons? Ah! <coughs> Actually, that is rather effective. That's right. Vikings didn't actually go to battle with horns on their helmets. It's a shame, really, because it's a smashing look. <laughs> the idea was, in fact, made up in Victorian times. To be honest, lots of historical facts turn out just not to be true. So watch what your teachers tell you. Hmm? Anger! Kidnap! Ransack, scream! Thump, slaughter! Shy! Ooh, really? Shy? Oh, well, I am a bit, actually. Um, stop staring at me. I'm going red. Mm -mm, no. We Vikings really were a surprising bunch. I mean, how do you think we told stories about our gruesome battles? We told them with poems. We really did. Cos it's easier to remember a rhyme. Greetings, my friend. It's great to be back. And just wait till you see what I've got in my sack. We pillaged this monastery down by the coast and divided the loot up, but I got the most. Then we drowned some monks and went back on the ship. All in all, I would say, not a bad little trip. What? Yeah, I don't know if you were aware at the time, but everything you just said seemed to... Rhyme? No, oh, that's perfectly normal, nothing odd there. It's just a good way for us Vikings to share the tales of battles we've had whilst away. We could write it down, but... It's nicer to say? Well, I wouldn't say nicer, not nice as such, because most of the time it's all blood and guts, and stabbing and looting and violence and hate. But you say it in rhyme and it makes us sound great. I think it sounds silly. Well, you're doing it too. I'm not. You just did. I didn't. That's you. Well, this is just practice messing around. The real battle poems would truly astound. They're stirring and epic. A real work of art. I could read you one now. I've learnt it by heart. Enough with the poems. I'm getting annoyed. But this is about all the towns we've destroyed. I don't want to hear it. Just leave me alone. I think you like this one. It's one of my own. Red flames swallowed up men's roofs as we raged and cut them down. Bodies skewered lay there sleepy in the gateways of the town. Both brutal and touching, a most potent blend. I think it could do with a joke at the end. It's not about jokes. I'm spreading the word. Down the generations that verse will be heard. Seriously, stop it now. It's making me cross. And I'm not even going to make that bit rhyme. That's your loss. But for me, I'm afraid this is more than a game. I'm a warrior poet, and soon will come fame. And years in the future, they'll speak of a time when Eric the Viking spoke only in words that sound the same as each other. Oh, I think I've stopped. Brilliant. Do you fancy an ale? Uh, yeah, all right then. Uh, so, how's it going with you? Uh, not too bad. Cow's got a gammy foot. Oh, really? Vikings didn't always rhyme. What could be worse? But many famous stories were written in verse. <laughs> Took me all week to work that one out. Vikings loved playing with words. One Viking called his most prized possession Legbiter. But was Legbiter A. His guard dog, B. His sword, or C. His pet polar bear? The answer is... B. His sword was called Legbiter because its bite could kill. Ghastly, mean and cruel, stuff they don't teach you.